Hey, how's it going guys? NFT Attic back with another video today. And before we get into today's project, just so you know, this is all my opinion on it. I don't know actually where the price is gonna go. Could go up, could go down. Never know with this market. Uh, so do your own research. Uh, and yeah, just my advice. As well as if you could just leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm, just helps me out with it. Doesn't matter what it is. Could be as simple as a dot or how much you hate the videos. Anyway, let's get into it. So today we do have Giraffe Towers. Uh, so not a totally released project yet, but it will be a 10K total project. Um, these are just the OG owners as well as some of the uh, actual owners of the project. Floor price of it is 0.1, two people have traded one, so nothing much. Again, this hasn't actually released yet. Um, the reason that we're looking at Giraffe Towers right now is this one, it releases in one day, uh, 26 minutes. So. Early release, if you're on the whitelist, it will be in 26 minutes. I believe I am. I don't even know if I am or not. Um, 0.05, I think 5K of them can be minted. Um, and then tomorrow, in a full day, 26 hours, uh, another 5K can, minted, can be minted. And these are the open ones. Um, so giraffe towers, kind of cool artwork, normal giraffe stuff, unique backgrounds, moving backgrounds. Um stuff like that. Uh, the main thing right here uh, out of the roadmap is their utility token. Uh, they have actually already made their token and it's going live on, I, I, I believe wherever it's going live, it is going live soon, as soon as it launches. So that'll be a quick uh, one that launches. It's not gonna be like, oh yeah, we're launching this. And then in four months, here's our coin kind of coming out. We just needed to make sure the project would sell out to get the money. So it's probably coming a little bit quicker than that. Um, this is the Twitter account, not many people following it because it hasn't come out yet. Uh, this is the creator of it, Gary Henderson. He is a famous artist. He does have his own Gary coin, a couple other projects that have done well and stuff. Um, so even if you do have the whitelist or you're getting one of these mains, I would be careful. I'm even being careful with it. Um, just because this is what, for one, I'll give you a couple reasons. One, the market is dead right now. Um, we're, we're bottoming out at the cycle. Altcoins are just about to take off, so NFTs are dead. Everyone's taking their money out of NFTs right now, trying to get liquid for Ethereum, because that's going to pump soon, and altcoins, they're going to pump even harder soon. Um, give it another month or so, uh, and then the market's going to turn around. So the reason I'm saying that is because most of the time when projects sell out on mint day and there's a big mint, uh, the crash rises, 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 and then instantly dumps. You saw it in Mechaverse with a huge rise like that. It went all the way up to almost eight ETH uh, and then down to a bottomed out floor of like 1.5. That's like a $50,000 floor drop. If you held that entire way, that is terrible. Um, so yeah, just be careful with that uh, after every mint because normally it does crash, then it has a um, recouping period, then a normal pump, then another crash, and then the actual recouping period that it's a slow build up, slow build up, and then all of a sudden parabolic takeoff. Those are normally when I invest in when I tell you about stuff. Uh, it's normally after a project has released. The only reason for this is I think this could be a little bit different of a story just based on uh, who the artist is as well as some of uh, the utilities that they already have for it. So if I'm allowed to get two here, what I'm thinking of is, again, this is just if I'm allowed to get two. I don't know if I can even. I get two of them. After I do that, I sell the one right before Mint even starts, get my money back for the two, and then I hold one of them. So that way, if I can do that, that's always a plan of what I try and do. Always get a couple of them, two to three. Um, three would be better if you do have the liquid. Uh, I'm just personally not going to be putting it into this project. But when you have two or three, what you can do is you have, say, a rare or a floor even like that. You can sell the floor when the floor price rises, say in this case before the mint even. Um, make your money back off of uh, the 0.5 each. Say you sell it for 0.13 or something like that. Make all your money back. So now I am at zero loss for with this project and I have a draft sitting in my wallet. Let's say in three months or so, these drafts make it up to 0.6. Um, then I could sell it then. And then I have that. 
The reason I say you might even want three is just because one is a long-term hold that you never would let go of. Two, so one of them is to make your profit back. That makes your profit back, makes you feeling good. The next one is to actually make profit. So let's say, let's use these as an example, 0.05. Let's say you sell your first one at 0.13. That makes your money back. Let's say gas is cheap and everything like that. You meant from contract. Um, you make your money back there. Then you sell your second one at 0.7. You make 0.7. That's 2, 2.2K, something like that. Almost 2.5 now at this point. Even more than that. Uh, doing really well then you're up 0.7 plus then you still have a giraffe that you can hold forever and he will be your one that you do not sell he is just your absolute moonshot in five years you hope for this project to be worth 20 ETH um so that's just my in my investment strategy of it anyway here's some of uh they have all their different traits and stuff like that different twitters i'll leave the collection down in the link for the description below um but yeah, just be careful. Check out the OpenSea price right before reveal and everything like that. Um, and just see if you believe it's going to drop or not, if it will be a heavy drop. If it does drop, though, and you don't catch the sell at the top, I would just hold at that point. Uh, it's not worth selling for a loss. Give it another two weeks and it'll probably pump back up so you can sell for profit if you don't want to be in it. Um yeah, and just remember, overall, NFT market is quite slowing down right now. Um, so just take it easy. Think over the projects. Be picky whether in what you're buying in. Um, anyway, yeah, stay safe from scams out there and have a good rest of your day. See you then.